Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. We're up to episode 5, and as you can see, I've decided to speed up the footage to make this more interesting. And that way, we'll also faster get to actual live commentary. So it's probably a win win for both of us, or all of us. So I started this episode with making some paths for a new uh, stall area here putting up some abstract fences to separate the paths using the green ones to distinguish from the red paths some more fences and now for the stalls themselves going for the chicken nugget ones one stall I think First adjusting the research, oh, there we go, and it needs a name, Nutrients, keeping up with the space theme. Then for some drinks, going with the iced tea, still thinking of a name for it. We're having some trouble with typing liquid, there we go, liquid nutrients. Now we, of course, just need to change that to solid nutrients. And then the restroom, which is going to be waste disposal with a typo. <laughs> An extra R letter. And now for the trash cans. And then some lamps, of course. And benches. The most important one for a stall area. People don't have to eat while they walk around. <coughs> Some more benches and litter bins. There. It's done. Clean up some puke there. And add a cash machine, which is going to be called a credit terminal. Oh, looks like the Enterprise is broken down, and there you have a little window, fireworks, <laughs> whatever. Looking at some rides here. Oh, the splash boat is making 8,000 already per hour. And now I'm going to build a log flume. And I also uh, managed to pay off all the last loan. So it's been... One September year two and already got the, got rid of the loan. And there were no there are no roller coasters yet, so <clears throat> they aren't necessary to get rid of the loan. But don't worry, the next in the next episode I'm gonna build a roller coaster finally. But now I'm building a log flume in this central area here. <laughs> Decided to go underground under the stalls and then a turn here maybe upwards nope. path is in the way another turn but there's no room for it a reverser turntable. Nope. Very indecisive as usual. This uh, speeding up is probably very good for these parts where I build big rides like this one because <laughs> I delete and rebuild a lot of the tracks. Now going under the stall area again, and then back up. Ooh, my park has received an award for being the safest park in the country. Going over the station there. S-curve. Another reverser, so we're back to facing forwards. Then going up again over the 
Info kiosk, maybe. No terms. Starting to do a big downhill straight into the bazaar. But then the log flume is in the way. So that was a bad idea. Going to delete it. Without the fast forwarding, the building of this log flume wouldn't even fit in one episode, but now it does, so you'll get to see what it's like when it's completed without having to wait for the next episode. Another S curve there, nope. New plan. Going on top of the paths and then back down underground. Oh, gotta add an on-ride photo there to max the profit. It's good to maximize the profit because when you're up to year 50 or something like that, then people will refuse to pay more than, let's say, one dollar or euro for really old rides, so unless you rebuild them or use a glitch where you replace one section and they think it's new, right? Anyway, going on the ground here thinking what kind of design to do <coughs> back on top extend the station a little Here I think I want to uh, make sure I can build a path underneath the log flume for the queue line. Very indecisive on what the design will be. Some curves maybe. The new stall, the fry shop. Back to ground level. Nope, that won't work. What's going on? Another reverse turntable. I lost track of what, what which way the boats are facing. <laughs> I must have something ambitious in mind, but it's not just not working out. Over and under and left and right. Where shall it end up? Now it's done. And for the entrance and exit, adjust the settings and test it. For the exit path, no problem, one in the way, oh crap, it's time to rebuild apparently, make sure that path fits and then build the log flume. Going for a simpler solution there, and time to test again. Set a mechanic patrol. And the Q line, going with the yellow, to keep with the Egyptian or Ancient theming. Stretch the queue a bit 
and I think it's nope, no, it's going to go over over the log flume to get closer to the exit. It's always a good idea uh, idea to start the queue line near the exit and some paths there and the test results are complete 5.65 excitement could have gone for 550 on the price instead of 5 but oh well what's done is done four years ago <laughs> Choosing some colors here, going with the yellow, the brown. And we get another new stall invented, the sub sandwich one. Small QLong TVs everywhere. Oh, looks like no one's going on the motion simulator. Probably need to lower the price. I'm not paying that much to go on the motion simulator. Making some good money, 5,000 already. Oh, and we need a name for the log flume, it's going to be Denial. A little wordplay there. Denial, and the Nile is, of course, the longest river in the world. And I've been on the shores of it in Egypt. Uh, when was it? Back in 2001. 11 years ago. Holy cannoli. Some random benches on these new paths. And trash cans. Why not? No, to what to do with escaping hole here? Decide to build a path into it. Secret tunnel of doom. Going for the cobblestone path. Stepping down. Having some trouble building because the Nile is in the way. It's so big and long. And that was inappropriate. <laughs> where to where to build it? The secret path of doom. Denial in the way. Access denied. Oops, looks like someone almost fell into the abyss. Jesse F. Get her out of there. Good deed of the day. Saved Jesse from falling into the abyss. The darkness that awaits under the world or park. Now we've got the other exit for this tunnel of doom. There we go, it's done. To add some scenery, some Egyptian walls around it. On the roof, probably. And with the plinth or whatever that is. How do you pronounce it? I have no idea. Some statues on top of that. For decoration and a sign that says Pharaoh's tomb. And another sign at the other entrance. And some more walls, why not? Thinking of what else to put there, maybe some pillars. Or column. Nope, going with the stone blocks. And it looks like we're nearing the time limit, so I'm going to have to pause it. Continue in the next episode where I start working on the very first roller coaster.